What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Destiny! And ever since the release of the Taken King, a lot of you motherfuckers have noticed that Destiny has sort of taken on a different shape in year two. In, in year one Destiny, the PvE meta was basically level up, do the raids, get gear, max your light level, then do it all over again until the next DLC. But now in Destiny, there's farmable rewards from strike bosses, there's hidden weapons, and even a community-wide easter egg hunt to find these hidden weapons. And to, to be honest, it feels more like Borderlands now than it ever has. And that is a fantastic thing because Borderlands came with some of the most addictive gameplay loops that you'll find in video games. And I'm glad to see it implemented in Destiny because I haven't even gotten to the Court of Oryx yet in my mission or let alone do the raid. So, you know, having side content besides things that require full fire teams and coordination of people at the same time to put together a full fire team, it, it, it's a really good move for Bungie. I really like that. But with that said, I want to turn your attention back to Cade Stash for just a moment. Because I, I have a feeling that this was the key. Cade Stash was supposed to be the first discoverable Easter egg that Bungie intended for us to find. Why do I believe that? Well, be because it's the first mission after the initial opening sequence with the uh, Taken King's Coming War, but it's it's the first actual quest that you get sent on, and, and there are hints to it in this level that are also hinted in the Collector's Edition. So, if, if you're not sure what Cade Stash Easter Egg is by now, I'm just gonna show it to you real quick. Before you go up this lift to fight the Echo of Oryx, you can bust out this ceiling and gain access to Cade Stash where he says that there's nothing in it. But later on in the mission, you find out that this son of a bitch, Cade, he likes to hide things in plain sight using scannable frequencies to uncover hidden loot. And it, it's my feeling that there was supposed to be a way to trigger this mission to allow you to access his loot. But I couldn't figure it out. And everybody was like, ah, that's fucking bullshit. And then like four days later, people found out how to get that black spindle. <laughs> and we know that hidden loot can trigger on daily heroic missions. And it's, it's only a matter of time before this mission becomes a daily heroic and we discover what the fuck is in here. And here is why. I did this mission on normal and heroic. Normal, this mission ends right away. Pow! Straight back to orbit. On heroic, you have an extra 30 second countdown to chill and do nothing. And if you take a look at where the stealth drive was, there's also a playing card on the ground. The same playing card that you find inside of Cade's secret stash. So what I'm thinking is, if you kill yourself at the right time during a daily heroic, you'll spawn in the hallway outside of the lift. It's, it's my feeling that if you scan this cache with the ghost, you kill yourself during a daily heroic and have somebody either in the stash waiting or you finish the mission, kill yourself, go into the fucking lift and go outside and get that easter egg. I have a feeling that this is where we're going to be acquiring the stranger's upgraded exotic weapon, the no time to explain, since it's rumored that Cade, Rasputin, and the stranger are all connected. How? Well... I don't even have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. <laughs> so, my name is Jay! What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys read, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch it. My motherfucking videos. Tell me in the comment section below. Do you, do you think that we're on to something? Because I feel like after you hear my explanation of Cade's story and how this is all connected together, it's going to make a little bit more sense. However, I don't have time to explain. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. What an after kill. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys. Later.